Hello and welcome back guys. Excel drop-down lists are used to enter data in a spreadsheet from a predefined list of items. The main purpose of using drop-down lists in Excel is to limit the number of choices available for the users. Apart from that, a drop-down prevents spelling mistakes and makes data input faster and easier. Let's make a couple of choices like this and practice how it works in Excel. And this will enable us to use it in our Excel spreadsheets to get data from users. So I have a sample form here where I have some choices which I want my users to fill in from. For example, yes, uh, no, or maybe or not sure. So here I need to limit the data input from my users. So I'll press the control key and I will select the cells where I need to have the data input. Now once it is ready, I will simply go on the data and in the data tab on the ribbon, you will find data validation. Now, the data validation is the rule which helps us to pick or select from certain information. So, when you click on it, you get the data validation pop-up appearing. Here we have validation criteria and it allows multiple options. We will select list here. Now, I want to choose certain criteria, for example, yes and no and not sure these are the three criteria i want to select the data from so i have selected the list here okay now you see i have selection here on each one of these cells i have this selection so my user will have to select any one of these options and to be honest there is no chance of having spelling mistakes and the data will be input faster. So it is easier for the user to select from these items here. So that was one way of creating this criteria. Now let's say, for example, if we have a certain items in a list, which are, for example, in this Excel sheet, we have ingredients here. So we can choose this list and we can use uh, these list, listed item in our cells. So for example, I have added this here. So how I've added here, I will simply show you here in a, another way. Ingredients. And now I will go for data validation. I will click on the data validation. I will select the list if you remember the list. Now data validation list is supposed to be selected. So I'll go to this list and I will select it. Now you see we have the path for this data which makes quite good sense for us to have it here now if i click here it will show us the data from that particular list now these were two different ways of having data into validation i will show you another way of doing this and that is through the name manager so if we go to the formulas there we have name manager and you have definitions of name so for example if i select this list after selecting this i go to formulas and there in the name manager i define the name of this particular table so let me assign a name to this table and the name of the table is for example ingredients so i put only ing to make it simple now this name has been defined so I will select another spreadsheet where there is no uh, list already. So I will go back to data and the data validation. I will go to data validation. I will select a list. Now into this list, I will type is equal to ing. This was the name of the list. I'll select OK. And now you can see it picked from the name that we defined. Now the name is defined and that name we have all the lists. So it is rather more faster and easier. So guys, these were a few tips of making your own data validation to make accurate data input from your users. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I'm sure that this will be useful for you while getting data from your users. In case if you have any further questions or queries, please feel free to write down and I will try to come back to you as soon as possible. I wish you a great day and looking forward to speak to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.